So at this point, I'm going to turn this idea into uh, reality via um, div tags. And I'm going to start creating all these div tags. Um, now these are ID selectors, so they all start with a pound. So here's the first thing I'm going to do in order to start getting my, my uh, plan going is that uh, I'm going to open up Dreamweaver. You know, I've already done the business of uh, creating a, a new site and I created an index.html and a style.html and actually as of yet I haven't linked the two. Um, let's see, let me go to my assets. Okay, here is my style. So I want to make sure I put that style in the head. In, so I'm just going to drag that over. So now I have that style associated with it. Let me save that doc. I named this one index.html. So let me name CSS online. What did I say over there? What were the words I was using? Okay. And, okay, whatever, this is no, nothing much going on here, well, obviously nothing at all going on, just a blank document, and I linked it to here, uh, just gave it a title. Now, since I created this new style uh, sheet, um, here's where I'm going to start putting in those ID selectors that I, that I showed over here. So this is just going to be as simple as... Um, a little tedious, it's not the most exciting part of the process, but it's a requirement. And start everything out with a hash sign and start doing it. So style div one. And so on. Let's see. Site title. I'm not going to do all of the okay let me just do leave those two for now and the reason you know the first thing I'm going to do is since I kind of came out with this setup over here ahead of time I'm going to put each one of these that I that I put in here into here all these different ID selectors um, and when I go back to index uh, I could start my design and I could just start writing these these divs inside of the body like so and the first thing I would do so div and the reason I like to I like using um, Dreamweaver and code view because once I actually start writing this you see how this pop-up menu comes once I hit return and space it'll start telling me what I'm looking for right ID I just hit the I and do it and now it has my classes already or my uh, my IDs right here my ID selectors are already set up so you know first thing is the site no actually shoot it wasn't that it was First thing I want is the style div. Style div one. There we go. And I could just do something like. Uh, sometimes I do this just so I so when I'm looking at it in code view I see what's going on. Style div one. Close it. Close it. And save it. And there we go. So there's my first style div. And uh, you know I'm gonna start doing this with this uh, with my other one which is going to be what I think it's uh, yeah site title and oh whoops put a P site title then I actually I'm just doing the forward slash and it automatically does it but why did it do I messed something up over here oh I didn't close that look at that I knew I didn't close it because it didn't when I did the forward slash thing it didn't close the P like it should have now, yes, this is tedious. This is not the fun part. I know that. You know, you're just kind of doing a lot of data entry here. And why am I doing it this way? Because I do it this way because I start off with very clean code. And once I get through just putting all these divs together and everything, by me having the code clean from the start, making sure I'm not having any extra markup from uh, Dreamweaver or anything, I can, um, I, I know and I feel secure in the positioning and floating that I'm doing that there's not like uh, things happening that, like I, I have a clear picture, this is exactly how I want it to be and I could have that done by 
doing it in code view. And actually, the one other thing just to tell you that I like to do too when I'm doing these things is I put comments at the end of the divs that tells me which divs they're closing, which is just, you know, this. This is just HTML uh, markup, and I and I do uh, what is that? That's uh, less than less than sign exclamation point, and then dash dash starts the comment, and I put ends site title, and then dash dash greater than sign, and now I, I do that at the end of each one, so when my code's getting kind of uh, messy and deep I could quickly see still see what's what I'm doing and the other thing that I do too is I collapse them so I just select all the text over here and I could just collapse it you see what I'm saying because by me collapsing it that kinda gets rid of the clutter now like I said we just this is the not so fun part you get through this part by keeping the stuff clean and then when we start working with the style sheets, you know where you know your your back end is very clean and then you're really more comfortable with all the front end stuff you're about to do.